There are numerous news and media reports about Titan Submersible's situation. Here are some details on what we gleaned and inferred from the sources. The expedition crew for the Titan Submersible started their journey from St. John's, Newfoundland, Canada. The Polar Prince, the surface support ship that carried the Titan Submersible, set sail from St. John's on June 16, 2023. The Titan was scheduled to make a total of six dives to the Titanic wreck, and the first dive took place on June 19, 2023. The Titan lost contact with the Polar Prince, about an hour and 45 minutes, into the dive. A massive search operation was launched, but the submersible was not found. On June 22, 2023, the US Coast Guard announced that they had found a debris field, consistent with a catastrophic implosion of the Titan. The debris included the tail cone, two sections of the pressure hull, and other smaller pieces. The Coast Guard concluded that the Titan had suffered a catastrophic implosion, which would have instantly killed all five people on board. The implosion was likely caused by a failure of the pressure hull, which could have been due to a number of factors, here are some of the possible scenarios that could have led to the Titan's implosion. Probable Reason 1 the pressure hull of the Titan could have had a manufacturing defect that caused it to fail under pressure. Probable reason 2, the Titan could have collided with a piece of debris on the seabed, causing a breach in the pressure hull. Probable reason 3, the Titan could have experienced a sudden change in pressure, such as if it was caught in a current, or if there was a landslide on the seabed. Probable reason 4, an electrical fault could have caused the submersible's systems to fail, which could have led to a loss of control or a fire. It is likely that a combination of factors contributed to the Titan's implosion. The investigation into the accident is ongoing, and we hope that the findings will help to prevent similar accidents from happening in the future. Here are some details of the five passengers, who were aboard the Titan submersible when it disappeared. Stockton Rush, the pilot and CEO of Ocean Gate Expeditions, Rush was a veteran deep-sea explorer, with over 20 years of experience. Shahzada Darwood, a wealthy businessman from Pakistan, Darwood was a passionate explorer, who had dreamed of visiting the Titanic wreck for many years, and he was accompanied by his son, Suleiman Darwood. Hamish Harding, a British engineer and entrepreneur, Harding was a co-founder of Triton Submarines, a company that manufactures submersibles. Paul Henri Nargile, a retired French naval commander, Nargile had made over 35 dives to the wreck, and he was considered to be one of the leading experts on the ship's history and construction. The five passengers were all experienced explorers and divers, and they were all passionate about the Titanic. They were aboard the Titan to participate in a commercial dive to the wreck, and they were all excited to be part of this historic expedition. The expedition crew for the Titan submersible visited the Titanic wreck for a variety of reasons. The Titanic was one of the worst maritime disasters in history, and many people still feel a sense of loss and sadness for the victims. Visiting the wreck is a way to pay tribute to those who lost their lives. The Titanic was a revolutionary ship for its time, and it is still a source of fascination for many people. Visiting the wreck is a way to learn more about the ship's history and construction. The Titanic is now a vast underwater graveyard, and it is a unique and eerie experience to visit the wreck. Seeing the Titanic in its current state is a reminder of the fragility of life and the power of the ocean. The Titanic wreck is a valuable source of information about the ocean and its history. Visiting the wreck can help scientists to learn more about the Titanic and the environment in which it rests. 
The loss of the Titan submersible is a tragic event, but the crew members' sacrifice will help to preserve the Titanic wreck for future generations. The debris field that was found will be studied by scientists, and the information that they learn will help to protect the wreck from further damage. Thanks for watching.